So there's the telescope I used for my recent time-lapse video and posed the question of where it would have to be on the Earth and on what date to be able to track the Sun by moving in a perfect vertical circle as you saw in the time-lapse video. Now the correct answer, and it came within a few minutes of posting the video, is the location is on the equator and the date is during the equinox because that is the only time that the Sun will move from due east in a straight line to directly overhead and then continuing that straight line to set at due west. Now it was a secondary experiment really because the purpose of my time lapse was really just to test this battery which is a portable battery that can power the mount remotely and I'm happy to say it went for more than 24 hours but I decided just to utilize that opportunity to try a secondary experiment which was to initialize the telescope as if it was on the equator and on the 22nd of September which is the day before the equinox meaning that as it rotated for 24 hours it would transit through the equinox time and the result of the time-lapse video does in fact show that the telescope moved in a vertical circle. Let's have a look at how I set up the telescope and let's have a look at that vertical circle. So there's a close-up of the handset of the telescope and when you first turn the power on it goes through an initialization process and it asks you for your location, your date and the time. So let me just show you how I set it up for this experiment. We did a solar system alignment and the custom site allows you to enter the coordinates. So I set 151 east longitude for Sydney and I set 0 for the latitude. Now that tells the telescope that it is located on the equator. Time zone is 10 for Sydney and then you set the time. Now I had actually set 0600 for the time when I initialized it for that experiment. We then enter and it asks for the date. So that's the 22nd of September. So that's the process I use for initialization for this telescope. And then once we started it running, it moved as if it was on the equator and pointing at the sun. And that's why we got that vertical circle that you saw in the time lapse. So here's a nice image showing the path of the sun across the sky for an observer at various locations on the Earth. Now, the one we're concerned with is here at the equator, and the blue line in this image represents the path of the sun as it would appear to an observer on the ground during the equinox. So it starts at 6 a.m. due east. At solar noon, it is vertically directly above the observer and at 6 p.m. it is due west. So that path is a perfect vertical circle and that's what the telescope was tracing because it thought it was at the equator and it thought it was the date of the equinox. Now this diagram also shows the apparent sun path for different latitudes and different times of the year. But uh, I'll, as I said, I'll link to this image in the video description. So there's the countdown timer to the next equinox. It's just eight days, seven hours and five minutes away. Now, the equinox is my favorite day of the year when it comes to understanding the true shape of the Earth. And this will be the third equinox since I have started making videos for the Flat Earth discussions. And anyone who is a regular visitor to my channel will often see me talking about the equinox and the sun angles. So what I propose to do now is just talk about the sun angles, why they are so important and how any of us can very easily make the observation on the day of the equinox because the results of those observations are very helpful in understanding the true shape of the earth. So I'll keep this video quite short and simple, but I do plan to make further videos explaining the geometry of the equinox. What is the equinox? It is the day of the year or the time when the sun is directly over the equator. It occurs twice per year in March and September. It is midway between the June and the December solstices. 
and it is the only time the Earth's tilt does not affect the position of the Sun in the sky. Now I will cover that in more detail in a future video, but just to emphasize, it is the only time the Earth's tilt does not affect the position of the Sun in the sky. Now what are the equinox sun angles? I keep mentioning these all the time and I keep asking flat earthers who visit my channel to measure them yourselves and it's coming up in eight days so please do please take the time to measure these equinox sun angles because they are real they are observable and they are verifiable and you can measure them from anywhere on the earth and they will follow these points which I'm about to describe from any location on the earth on the equinox the sun will rise due east that's a bearing of 090 from north at local noon when the sun is the highest in the sky if we take 90 minus the elevation of the sun it will match your latitude so if you are at the equator at local noon the sun will be directly above you so it will be 90 degrees from the horizon so 90 minus 90 equals zero that's your latitude at the equator if you're located at 45 degrees north latitude the sun at local noon will be 45 degrees above the horizon 90 minus 45 equals 45 and that is your latitude and that is true for the northern hemisphere and also the southern hemisphere the sunset we will see setting due west on a bearing of 270 degrees and again that happens everywhere on earth so it doesn't matter where you are you are going to see the equinox sun angles as per these first three points and the other relevant point is that the sun's path is symmetrical for equal latitudes north and south of the equator and again I will explain that in more detail in a future video so this is one of the earliest videos on my channel and it was made almost a year ago during the September 2016 equinox it was shortly after I first heard of flat earth on YouTube and being very keen to research flat earth for myself I decided to measure the equinox sun angles because the geometry of the sunset being directly 270 all over the earth is a great observation that will help us understand the true shape of the earth now this video was taken in Broome Australia and the road we are looking down runs directly east west and I can confirm on that day that the Sun did in fact set perfectly due west now as I said the equinox is coming up again in eight days so I'd just like to announce a competition for whoever produces the best video demonstrating the equinox sun angles in your location and I will go into the details of that competition but the first prize is going to be a brand new P900 this is not a joke this is my donation in the interest of real research and people making experiments and observations themselves so whoever obtains the best video footage of the sun angles during the upcoming equinox is going to win themselves a brand new P900. Now this is my one, this is not the one you will receive. I will ship you a brand new one in an unopened box to wherever you are on Earth if you produce the best video. It's open to Globers and Flat Earthers alike and I will be announcing full details of the competition in the next day or two.